Hi, I'm Valerine. Come stick with me and learn some of my eats and treats recipes. Remember to subscribe now. I am making quinoa and lentils to go with my citrus herb baked chicken. Unlike when I'm cooking the lentils with the basmati rice, I actually cook the lentils before I add the quinoa because quinoa takes a shorter time to cook basmati and lentils cook run about the same time. In the pot, I add just a little bit of pink salt, a little bit of black pepper and about a tablespoon of coconut oil. Then I add my lentils. The lentils have been washed and it's a cup of lentils. I'll turn the burner on and then I'll add uh, two cups of water. Then I'll cover the pot and I cover it with a little gap at the top there because um, when you cook things like beans or peas that sometimes they tend to froth and come they will come over in on the stove so I just put a little gap there so it doesn't froth and make a big mess over the stove and then I will leave it to cook the lentils are now cooked and is ready for the quinoa and so I'm going to go ahead and pour the quinoa in, give it a little stir, and then pour in a cup of hot water. Then I'll cover it and leave it to finish cooking. I'll turn the burner off when all the water has been absorbed into the quinoa and the lentils and then leave it to sit so it can finish cooking. Check this out guys. This is the perfect quinoa and lentils. Thanks for sticking with me to the end guys. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, leave a comment below. And by the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Also, like, share with somebody. And I'll see you in the next video.